So we're back at the shrine. Hey you! The whole town suddenly flew into the sky. What's going on with this town anyway? That's not the only problem. My mom and dad are gone. Um, when I think about it, mom and dad were there before, but just now, when I went back home, I was alone. Mom and dad were always fighting, but still, they're still my mom and dad. Bro, sis, beat up those bad guys and bring back my mom and dad. Will do. It's going to be okay. Just leave it to me. We'll beat those bad guys in no time and your mom and dad will come back for sure. I could, I could actually see Maya being a kindergarten teacher. Could you? Uh, Maya, I don't think this is the time to be asking such things. <laughs> Gut punch. Or the, the, the <laughs> yeah, it's probably not just me. I mean, I think, I think actually, Lisa and Michelle makes a a good pair. And I don't know, I suppose Jun and Maya has to fight over uh, Tatsuya. I don't know why I said that, but for some reason it just strikes me that Jun looks up to Tatsuya in some way. Whoa. How can you pop? Are you... Uh, are they going to gain personas in the future? I'll make sure your mom and dad come back. This is a reminder of that promise. What kind of flower is this? It's a flower of hope. I'm so bad with flowers, I don't know what kind of flower that is. If we release the ideal energy that was gathered by the five skulls, all of the people that I turn into shadow selves might return back to normal. They are the keys which woke Zibalba from his slumber. They are also the source of its power. If we cover all of the skulls and bring down Zibalba before the Grand Cross occurs, we might be able to protect this world from fur further tragedy. They have four of the skulls, earth, water, wind and fire. Each have been enshrined in corresponding shrines in order to keep them under control. We'll need to retrieve the four skulls and then board Zibalba. And then there's my dad. He's probably going into the core of Zibalba to chase after Hitler and get the skull of the heavens too. <laughs> you can just listen to it. This, this story is actually pretty outrageous. I'm sorry everyone. This is where we part ways. I'll stay behind in the city I think. Oh no! The battle between the Masquerade and the last battalion has probably spread throughout the city now. The general public might get caught in the middle. If that time comes, I think they'll need someone who can fight back, you know? I don't want anyone else to die. I understand how you must feel, but without your persona, don't you think fighting all of them alone would be too much for, for, for you? It's okay. She won't be alone. I'll make sure you can be safe. I won't let anybody hurt her. Oh, isn't that cute? So, everything will be just fine. Anna, take good care of Yuki. Can I say one last thing? <laughs> if you ever have to write anything again, don't let Maya drive it. <laughs> Oh come on, Yuki. I'm an ace driver. How rude. <laughs> Forced laughter. And off they go. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I can move again. So, Jun uh, takes Yuki's place and has basically taken over her ability to summon personas. And it's pretty neat. 
I suppose. like to comment on what I've experienced so far but I I'm just gonna take it all in you know absorb it the experience and um, I'll get back to you later I mean it's uh, uh, yeah it seems like we need to gather the four skulls at the shrines somewhere and then board Spalba and then probably fight Hitler. Yeah. Anyway, this has had been long overdue. I'm am I'm going to summon some personas. Do 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 do. And it's always such a joy to meet Igor again. Now let's see. Oh, okay. Hmm. I gotta say, I do like the spell list. Or oh, rather... Oh wait, number of persona... Oh, I need to... Swap out some uh, persona. Wait, I have space here, so... Oh, it's probably here. Yeah, I'm full. Oh well. Um, you know, I'm. Yeah. I should have done this before. I think. Just pre I don't. I don't. I don't think there's any reason to keep rank eight maxed personas uh, in my stock for no reason. Oh, what's that? Solving orb? I gotta check out the items I gain after this too. Yeah. I myself, I couldn't possibly see that people would actually play through the whole game with the same personas over and over, or throughout the whole game. I mean, you will probably be pretty crippled because the spell list of the starter personas are really bad. Um, I'm not sure if I should actually use any of these cards. Can I need, I'm kind of I I um, I check the, the the spells they currently have and then I make a decision if whether it seems worth it or not. Yeah, I'm probably gonna summon some personas before I uh, before I move on. I am Abinoseime. Life is governed by the yin and the yang. Human souls are no different. I am your shadow. Uh, good for you. I'm basically just gonna summon all of the ones I can and then look if I need to um, use some free tarot cards. Hmm. Wait. Oh man, I recarm Dora. Uh, wow, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, oh yeah, I could stay in this room forever. I think I've said it before, but I don't normally like opera music. But this 
the background music music in this place is actually it's not too bad. Uh, I w yeah, when I met Elizabeth in Persona 3, I was actually pretty curious of her knowing her story. I mean, how did she end up there? There is there's no one in this velvet room who's actually even dressed like her, and I think Mar she, her name was Margaret in Persona 4. She had similar clothes, clothes, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm kind of interested in how they actually ended up be ended up in the velvet room. I don't think you ever get to know that. It's, it's just things like that which kind of becomes a pet peeve for me. I want to find out, but I don't think there's actually any way to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much to learn.